miniature grocery foods. Yes, you heard right. We have a mystery box of Kirby and tiny foods. Recently, I had a trip over in Japan and when I saw this mystery box, I just jumped all over it. And I figured this was the best opportunity to have a crossover between my main channel, which is mystery boxes, and this channel, which is gaming, and just kind of have a love child together. And as you can see, this box seems to have so many tiny grocery food items themed with the popular Nintendo character, Kirby. Everything from ice cream, toilet paper, a meat pie, block, brock, 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 <laughs> and even a bath bomb. But there are so many of them to collect, so I'm excited to see what we're going to get. Now, the good thing about Japan is that if you're getting the entire box, look at that, we have the whole box, you're basically guaranteed the entire set. So it's not a matter of if we're going to get something, it's more when, since we're going to be doing this in a few parts. And the entire set cost me about 5,600 yen. So here it is in Canadian and USDs. But let me know in the comment section below, which of the tiny foods is your favorite that you would like to see mixed with Kirby characters? And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do, otherwise I will slash you and click on all notifications while you're there to join us for live streams. Now normally the main content of this channel are video games, I promise. We just like to do things a little differently here and even add a few gaming items. Now you can see this is sealed. This label confirms a complete set. I love this. All right, let's see what we have on the inside. Voila. And we have, of course, little decoration things that we can use. We have backgrounds. We have, I think, a cash register. Look at that, more background. So the box itself becomes basically your diorama. And we do have our tiny boxes. Now the question is, which ones do we start with? So let's go ahead and start with number two. Voila. And take a closer look at the box because it will tell us what we can get. The first one is called Welcome to Poo 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 Market. <laughs> okay, we have bubble gum and a cart. Next set, it's let's have pasta for dinner. That's really cute. Next one is everybody loves snacks. My goodness. Daily essentials. Adorable. I love daily essentials. Must have frozen foods. Kickstart a day with breakfast. Oh my God. Enjoy a party at home. And um, why did I buy this stuff? <laughs> I feel like that's me every shopping trip. I have to say, I would really love to get the everybody loves snacks. And my second favorite is probably the home essentials, but all of them are really cute. So let's see which one we start off with today. All right, we have tape, my goodness. I got it. I can never open these properly. We have, and we, is it, did I, wait, did I just get what I wanted? Yes! <laughs> wow, that was lucky. I think we just got, Um, why did I just buy this stuff? Okay, let's open you up. And our first item seems to be, that is so small, Meta Knight Cafe Latte. That is adorable, Aww. look at that. There's even a tiny bit of the straw here, so you can pull it out and poke a hole on top. Very cute, my goodness. Super adorable. Next, stop. We have rainbow gummy, and there's actual tiny pieces of gummy on the inside. They are kind of hard candy for us. Hang on, I'm gonna try and bring it further out. Look at that, we have Kirby-shaped gummies. So cute, oh my God. I am absolutely in love. I'm so happy I got this set. <laughs> Next is the tiny bath bomb. So here we have a box, just says bath bomb. Very cute, it has Nintendo copyright. Here's the top and bottom. Let's go ahead and pull it out because I'm pretty sure we saw the bath bomb. Oh gosh, get out of here with the Kirby face. Aww. Does it open? No, that's cute. Very cute. And just so you have an idea, here's my thumb and here's how tiny it is. It is my tiny finger and how tiny it is compared to my tiny finger. And if you want it compared to my face, here it is. <laughs> Next here we have Waddle D. So I'm guessing Waddle D is the one who messed up on the list. Wait, there's something actually written. What's it say? Canned tomato, pasta, broccoli, and light bulb. I'm actually surprised it's written in English because I mean, I got this from Japan and the entire box is mostly written in Japan, Japanese. Japanese. <laughs> so we have our cute little Waddle D, and I'm not sure what these are, but it looks like we have a shopping bag. So let's pull this out. I love me miniature bags. Look at that. So cute, my goodness. And we can go ahead 
and put our shopping in there. This is way different than other miniatures that I've done where items don't fit in their own bags, but here it fits perfectly. Look at that. Aww. That's a huge shopping bag. No way! They even give us an extra box here that we can fold over and have like a our own miniature mystery box included in there. Here, let me do it. A few moments later. And here it is, all cut up and glued up. Super cute. It tells you what kind of characters you can get from this side and this side as well. So it's cute that a mystery box gets its own tiny mystery box. And another thing that was inside that pamphlet was the actual receipt. If you want, feel free to pause and read what's going on. But we're just gonna put the receipt in the back. And of course, our mystery box. <laughs> And let's go ahead and open number, so we had one, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and open number five. And let's see what set we get in this one. So let's open you up. Always make sure you look at the little pamphlets in these remints because sometimes they have some really interesting extra material that you can put together and make. And what do we have? What is that? What is that? Is that the pasta? That is not pasta. Is that pasta? Is that spaghetti? Is that spaghetti? I love spaghetti. <laughs> Voila. And I think it's let's have pasta for dinner. And the first thing that caught my attention is the tiny bag of pasta. Is there actually pasta in here? Yes. Look at that. We have the little macaroni, not macaroni, spaghetti or linguine or angel hair, whatever it is. I actually really love angel hair pasta. It's like the thinnest possible. It just, it goes down easy. And we have Kirby at the front. It even says 300 grams. Here's what the back looks like. Next we have olive oil, but there's no label to it. Interesting. I think they might actually have given us the labels here. I think there might be stickers here. Let's take these out. Like this all. And obviously, we have a cheese grater with stars. I mean, Kirby is really well known to being on stars. So this is cute that they're actually star-shaped. And yes, so we do have sticker labels for everything. Let's pull out the sticker for olive oil. And we'll put it right here. Hopefully I don't put it too crooked. Please. A little crooked, but still cute. And we have Kirby sitting next to olives. And over here, we seem to have a can. We have the little tab on top, and I'm going to guess this is our tomato, because here I see Maxim tomato. So we're gonna get you. I love the sound of stickers being peeled. I'm gonna try to center this as best as possible, like so, looking good. And now we're gonna wrap you around like so. Cute, oh my goodness. See, they could have easily done it themselves, but I love the fact that they're making us be a little bit more involved in these minis. So here's our canned tomato. Oh goodness, I, I almost got scared that I put it upside down. So we have whole tomato, and here's what it looks like all the way around. And then we have cheese. Cheese. Let's see our cheese. Oh, it's actually wrapped. No way, and there's actual little stars. Adorable. I like that. Those are tiny details that I really do appreciate. Label for cheese, it says raclette cheese. I think raclette cheese is basically like a fondue, right? <coughs> I've personally never had raclette, despite the fact that it's a big part of Quebec culture. I really should do it. Okay, we're gonna get this as close to the edge as possible. And voila, here's our cute little cheese. Oh my God. This is probably one of my favorites because we had stickers. <laughs> I'm a fan of stickers. And this must be our bacon. Oh, the details on this is so cute. And again, it is wrapped, so that is nice and hygienic for tiny groceries. And the label here says smoked bacon. Very nice. Got you. And we're gonna put this here. The fact that the brands are the actual characters. We have King, I think Didi. I was never able, I never heard the name get said out loud though. Did it, King did it. Didi over here is super cute, love it. And this is the pamphlet that comes with it. My curiosity is, it comes with flyers. Aww. That's adorable. See, we can go ahead and cut this out and we have little flyer. Aha, and here's our flyer for the weekly deals. Everything from apple jam to snacks, Eggs, milk, bacon, the pasta. We basically got most of the things on sale. And that's basically everything we got in this box. I'm loving it. Let me know which one of these minis is your favorite. I have to say the tomato can is up there for me. On to number eight. 
Voila! Let me know in the comment section below which numbers would you like me to open in the next video. We'll have the numbers on screen for you right here, so let me know which three you'd like to see. And I'm really curious which one we're going to have the pleasure of seeing today. Come on. Oh, that is packed! Oh my goodness, that is packed. Oh, I see a pizza. I think we might actually have the must-have frozen foods right now. And it looks like the first thing is some kind of disc. What are you? No, I think that's the cap for our ice cream. Let's find the ice cream. All right, I think this one's our ice cream. Get out of here. <laughs> it already has a scoop taken out straight from the middle. I usually, when I scoop ice cream, I think I go around the edges first as opposed to straight in the middle. And we do have a sticker and the pamphlet. So let's check this sticker out. We have the top part of the ice cream and the label. Oh my goodness, and we have ice cream cone box. Oh. We'll get there soon, I'm too excited. So let's get this out. Put this decal right on, like so. Now we have our label, let's hear that sticker removal. All right, let's try and get this as centered as possible. We'll put this side, oh gosh. This side first, voila. Oh, that is crooked, no! Hang on, I got this. Eventually. It is still crooked, but here it is. It is still, I don't know if it's the way that they made it, but I can't seem to get a straight line, despite the fact that it is, as you can see, perfectly aligned here. And it just goes wonky after that. I think it's their angle. We're just gonna blame the angle. But here you go, we have ice cream pop soda. <gasps> That's delicious. Let's close it up. Perfect. Perfect. I love that sound. And then we have the broccoli florets. I love the fact that they use the iconic tree from Kirby to put the broccoli on the inside here for the packaging. That is so cute. Here's what it looks like in the back. Again, it says broccoli florets. I love this. Next, this one came out with the stickers and we have Maxim Pizza Deluxe. Look at that. We have Kirby at the front and Waddle D. Here's the back of the box. Let's open it up. Wow! Oh, it's a little upside down. Let's do it again. Wow! <laughs> That's so cute, oh my god. We have Waldi's face as our pizza. Oh gosh, it's so cute. These boxes and miniatures are so adorable. I'm really happy we got the set. Next, we have Kirby Potato. I, I guess these are like those french fries that come in smiley faces, the McCain ones that we have see here on screen, but these are Kirby shaped. I would really love to see this in real life. I would buy video game character shaped potatoes <laughs> or even chicken nuggets. But here's what they look like. They're definitely all smushed together. And here's what the back looks like. And then we have tiny scooper. Okay. So we have an ice cream scoop, a tiny ice cream. I guess that can fit on the inside. Yes, it does. Wait, does this ice cream fit in this hole? Let's try. Yeah, it fits. And it even has a Kirby face on it. Do you see that? And we also get a spare potato. There's a loose potato, so you don't have to open the bag. We just get a loose potato. And here's the pamphlet. And it seems like we do get the ice cream cone box, which I'm going to go ahead, cut out, and glue together. Five minutes later. And here it is. This was a little difficult to get the glue on there. I don't think the glue has fully set yet, so I might try to do double-sided tape. But it does say ice cream corn instead of cones, which is interesting. We have the Kirby on there. Here's what it looks like on the side and the back. Again, like I said, I don't think the glue is holding on too well. And here it is again on the side, super cute. And here's everything we got in this box. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. Stay tuned for part two where we're going to unbox more of these. I'm curious to know which one of these sets, again, is your favorite. I will be reading the comments. Till then, I will see you trespass next video.